Howdy everybody, Goma the Ranting Thespian here, and this is my friend Amanda. Also known as Satan's Whore. Sa Satan's Whore. Wow. <laughs> and behind me she's hiding is her wife, Angel. I don't know if she'll say anything, but uh, she's hiding behind me. <laughs> Hi. There she is. Ah. So we just saw War Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Um, these two had never seen anything Star Wars, so they got a damn good introduction to it. To the universe. Before we go on any further, though, fucking spoilers. Naturally. <laughs> Can't do a review without spoilers. Well, you can. I've done one without spoilers, but um, but it, it, it this is not one of those reviews. Ah. Oh, holy shit. I, I, we came out of it and me almost immediately, like, like we were, as we were getting, um, uh, finished up and getting ready to come out here, I texted Becky and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I, I did hear some other review saying it was like kind of a slow start, and then I kind of, I kind of got that. What do you think? It was a slow start, definitely. Yeah, but you also had to introduce new characters. You know, you know, insert their backgrounds and everything because these are these are all new characters. We had no idea who the fuck they are. Well, with some exceptions, you know, we have Tarkin, and everybody says it's like the whole Uncanny Valley because that is a CG. Peter Cushing, who played him in the original uh, in, in uh, A New Hope, Episode 4, back in the 70s. We don't have a Peter Cushing anymore, so they had to CG him in. Although, Carrie Fisher obviously is also a lot older than than Princess Leia in this. Clearly. Yeah. But they actually, and I think as Becky put it, they had an actual Carrie Fisher to work with. So, so that also works. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> Oh lordy, just just everything going on is like oh I'm I'm still like half processing it too, oh but it's just it, it you know the, the long and the short of it it it's yeah not not a big thing here but uh you know basically the battle to get the Death Star plans. I also kind of want to call this Red Shirt the movie because pretty much every main character that's not in another Star Wars movie dies like without without fail. Like, yeah, just, and I, and I was, I'd heard, I, I, I admit, I had seen somebody mention that, and it was like, oh, no, but, yeah, so it's all, like, bittersweet and everything. Ah, uh, so, before I go on too much, you, as somebody who had never experienced Star Wars before, tell us what you think. I want to watch the rest now. Yeah? Sorry, baby. <laughs> I can arrange that. Mm -hmm. I have the rest. All seven of them. I can arrange it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but did I did you get yours legally? Uh huh. I plead the fifth. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Oh God, just it, it was. Uh, it, yeah, I don't. Obviously, I don't do these very often. <laughs> uh, um, what were some of your favorite parts? Darth Vader's unusual snark was definitely interesting. Yeah, that is one thing I did pick up is is the amount of snark that Vader had. He's the, supposed to be this big, brooding, impo and imposing character, and he's here snarking and, and throwing out one-liners. It's like, dude, <laughs> uh, that, that's some people will be like, ah, he's not supposed to do that. No, it's it's perfectly fine. I mean, he's in the midst of a war here. <laughs> I think he's allowed a few. And, of course, him kicking all ass at the end. Holy shit. This is why you don't fuck with Vader. This is why people are, are rightly shitting their pants in front of him. Except for Leia. She doesn't shit her pants in front of him. Too much. Uh, well, Leia's always been badass. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, and, and it was nice to see some of the call forwards and call backs to like, other movies in the series. Like uh, Senator uh, Bail Organa of, of uh, Alderaan, we saw him played by S Jimmy Smith in the C in the uh, prequels. Um, I also had there was uh, I saw a call forward to Return of the Jedi where they actually you know infiltrated the planet to get the plans because that's similarly what they did in Endor in Return of the Jedi, which yeah there's something something interesting. Although they didn't have a Darth Vader detecting a Jedi on board at that point. Um, ah. And, and, of course, snarky-ass robot, too. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yes! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a robot look concerned until now. Yeah. 
Oh, just just wait till you watch the rest of them. See three PO alone. Three PO alone. Holy shit. Uh, which naturally you have an R two D two C three PO cameo. Which is which of course you do. Got to. Yeah. I have to make some appearance in every movie, and, and I'm still wondering why his arm is red in episode seven, but well, I guess we'll find out. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Twenty years from now. Maybe. No, well, there's still still two other main Star Wars movies coming. Episodes eight and nine. And episode eight, I think, is going to be next year, and then I think another side story, and then episode nine. Mm -hmm. So we're we're getting some regular Star Wars movies for a while. I Good. like this. This this could become a tradition here. <laughs> uh, oh wow. So uh yeah, the 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 uncanny valley of Tarkin. They they actually they did a really good job, honestly, with you know CGing and uh, uh, Peter Tar um, Peter Tarkin. <laughs> Peter Cushing onto some other dude. And they got the voice almost right, you know, but it's hard. It's hard to do the voice almost right, and no matter what voice impersonation you're doing. Oh lordy. Um, wow. <laughs> uh, and I have to say, I, you know, when Jen started kicking ass, ah uh, yes, put her on the list of badass Star Wars ladies, along with uh, along with Princess Leia, even Padme Amidala, at least per Episode Two, in in certain instances. And um, and Ray from Episode Seven, <laughs> except you know no nobody need well. I was gonna say nobody needed the Force. None of the others needed the Force, but uh, not really. I don't know. I, I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> I really don't. Ah, uh, oh lordy. Usually I can like sit here and blabber and and motor mouth for a while. Uh, it's just. I guess my brain is still processing a little bit. I guess as long as the more I do these, I probably would get a little bit better at explaining a little bit more. Holy shit. Because <laughs> that's where my brain is. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Ah. Uh, oh, man. Um, so, so yeah, I, I think I, I, kind of a short vlog for one of these types. I've seen others run them like longer like 30 minutes or whatever this one's kind of short at least for me unless unless you short and sweet short and sweet which is good because she's in pain <laughs> unfortunately yes get my fucking gallbladder out of me please yeah if you what well no I'm, I, I can't do that here <laughs> um your mother would kill you if you got blood all over the car this is true <laughs> yeah <laughs> blood and guts are icky yeah, plus you, you don't want to trust me with a scalpel. At this moment, I would trust an infant with a scalpel. Wow. <laughs> uh, so, Miss Angel, I've seen you popping in and out back there. Do you have any thoughts you want to share on the movie? No. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. <laughs> so, we're, we're going to get out. We're going to get out of here, especially since the light went off on us. We just do this. <laughs> and that's voila. <laughs> and trust me, I'm not the old... People who watch uh, Brad Jones's vlogs like this know that I'm not the only one with problems like this. <laughs> uh, so can we go steal that from the mall cop? No, we can't go steal that from the mall cop. Damn it! Unfortunately, but you know, especially since we're on camera, <laughs> they would kind of be used as evidence. Not if you turn it off before. Nah, but it, yeah. Well, there is editing. Still, no. Oh. <laughs> uh, so all right, we're gonna we're gonna get out of here and and go enjoy some food or, or something or what have you. We'll figure out something to do. And uh, yeah, I hope hope you enjoyed this. If you like these, let me know and I'll see if I can do more schedules permitting. Um, so yeah, take care, everybody. This is Gomer the Ranting Thespian with Amanda and Angel signing off. Mm -hmm.